Can you still sell homes during the coronavirus outbreak? That's our topic today. We'll get started right after this. Hi, I'm Kim Ward, certified probate real estate advisor and developer of probatebiz.com. So, can you sell homes during the coronavirus outbreak? The answer is yes. Now, I'm working from home. This is my new blue color that I just painted my office. It's kind of a mess over there, but I'm working to get information out and to help my clients and help you know that yes, you can still sell homes during this outbreak. The beautiful thing of having a business in probate is that most of the homes are vacant. Just yesterday, I put a vacant home on the market in the San Carlos area of San Diego. Now we had originally priced that property at 619, but because of this outbreak and because of what's important to the client is a quick sale, we decided to put the property on the market for $20,000 less, just under 600 at 599. I woke up this morning and I have two offers on the table and they're above the 599 price. How did I accomplish this? I had some cost-effective repairs done to the property, some painting and new carpet. Then I had it cleaned and professional photos. Those professional photos are out there in the world on all the major search engines and I'm getting a lot of interest in this home. Now the beauty of it is that the house is vacant so home buyers and their agents can feel comfortable going into this vacant property versus going into a traditional home that has a family living in it. Plus, many of the families are putting their properties on hold. They're not continuing to market their properties during this outbreak, which I believe is the wise thing to do if you live in a house. And typically I would have an open house, but obviously we're not supposed to be around more than 10 people. Here in San Diego, they even just closed down all the trails, the parks, and the beaches, upsetting me because I love to hike. So now I'm walking around the neighborhood instead. <laughs> So what are buyers agents doing with their buyers? They're driving separately, but first the buyers are looking at the photos, basically having a virtual walkthrough of the house with the photos that I've provided onto the internet. So they're driving separately and then the buyers agents can open the front door for their clients and let their clients go in without them. This still sticks to the stay six feet away from each other rule. So hopefully this will not last very long, but this is just another example of how a business helping with homes in probate can last when things get kind of strange in the world. So I encourage you to take this time, take a look at probatebiz.com and become a member. You're gonna have time to do all the studying and to ramp yourself up. So when this is all over, perhaps you can start a strong business helping executors and administrators with homes in probate. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay at home. And if you like this, give me that thumbs up like, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button. And that way you'll get notified of my weekly videos all about a probate real estate business. See you next week.